our next question, Jim. It's a good transition here. It's from <laughs> Dave O. The subject is unpopular douche. And the question is, did anyone like Jim Hurd? And well, I, I <laughs> none of the boys did. None of the wrestlers did. I've I've told the story before that I wanted to fucking give my notice when you know, I've used to fantasize. I'd actually get half fucking half masked over this in the back seat of the car with the midnight, fantasizing about when I told Jim Hurd I was quitting. And I said, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to go and kick his fucking office door open with a blank pistol. I'm going to fire five shots, blanks at him and say, fuck you, I quit. And then Bobby stopped me with corny. As many motherfuckers hate this fucking asshole. You don't think he's got a real gun in his top drawer? Yeah, you're right. All the boys hated him. Jim Ross tried to get along with him. JR is always tries to see the best in people and tries to be professional and tries to do business, tries to get along with people. And he even said to me one time, he said he wasn't a bad guy to hang out with when he went out to have a, have a drink with a guy, you know, a little scotch or whatever. Because I guess fucking heard was if he wasn't an alcoholic, he looked like he should be. But I guess he's still fucking alive. He's still alive now. I've heard he's still alive. He's got to be 80 years old. He's still alive. I can't wait for the day that he fucking dies. I'm going to drive over to St. Louis. I'm going to dance on his grave, and I'm going to have a fucking Emo's Pizza in celebration. But so Jr. tried to get along with him because he had to work in the office with him every day. But we didn't have to be in the office every day, me and Kevin and Flair and all the rest of the booking staff. So, you know, but uh, if you liked him, it was in spite of – himself rather than because of himself if you liked the fucking guy it was in spite of everything that he fucking did to the company i didn't like him obviously i hope he dies a horrible death to this day painfully in front of his family because he not only fucked up the midnight express but he fucked up if it wasn't for jim hurd i've yeah i've called him the grinch that stole christmas if it wasn't for jim hurd it, it may be a different wrestling world today because he gave Vince an eight year head start. Basically by the, the three years that he was there, they were so far in the hole by that point that Vince had taken off and left them. And even Vince being indicted by the federal government couldn't fucking turn the tide because of herds mismanagement. So he's the reason why that WWF style cartoon wrestling instead of NWA style, Southern believable wrestling won the war because of Jim Hurd single-handedly. There's no other, <laughs> That is the reason, and you can talk about what Bischoff did afterwards and anybody else, but the reason why the WWF won the war was because of Jim Hurd. So fuck him. I, I hope he gets horrible crotch rot and fucking melts from the inside out into jelly in front of his family. I think you're uh, being a little stiff, Jim. I mean, we don't know how history will Look at Jim Hurd. We don't know. I mean, 50 years from now, yeah. people may look at it and say, you know what? Handing Vince the Road Warriors and Ric Flair on a silver platter was a good decision. We really don't know. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we got time for a couple more questions the, the, the here. Midnight left, broke up and left. The Road Warriors left. Ric Flair left. Um, it, 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 he it ruined, he ended Tully Blanchard's major league career. He fucked Arn Anderson out of a hundred grand a year. The, the ding-dongs, the hunchbacks, the fucking, the whole nine yards, RoboCop, it was all Jim Hurd. Jim Hurd was possibly even because Russo was never put in a position to, to, to damage one side of the, Russo damaged the entire business with the booking that he did. When you saw that on TV, you said, if this is wrestling, I don't want to see any more fucking wrestling. He damaged the whole business. But Jim Hurd damaged one side of the war so fatally that it was no contest from that point forward. So Jim Hurd did even more damage to wrestling, in my opinion, than as we've seen by looking at history, everybody else's opinion, than even Russo did. That's a major statement, a major statement, and we have time for... And I hope somebody, I hope somebody knocks on Jim Hurd's door in St. Louis and he wheels up to the fucking door in the wheelchair and fucking opens it and somebody says, hi, I just wanted to tell you, Jim Cornette still hates your fucking guts, you fucking raccoon pelt-headed piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All when right. Drew four, when they drew 400, I'm in Smoky Mountain, I'm in Knoxville, I'm in my house in Morristown, I hear they've drawn 400 people in the Omni in Atlanta. My Knoxville shows were outdrawing the WCW shows in Atlanta, right? 
<clears throat> so I fucking get on the phone and call 1-800-Flowers or whatever, and I send Jim Hurd the bouquet of, of black, dead black roses. And I had to pay extra to make sure they were dead. And <laughs> with a card that said, my deepest sympathies on the death of your wrestling promotion. Love, Jim Cornette. And it just said to Jim. So he got them and got hot and picked them up and carried them down to Jim Ross's office and put them on his desk. Well, Jr. comes in and sees that and obviously knows that I didn't send him those roses. So he picks them <laughs> up and carries them back and puts them back in Herd's office. Fucking asshole. God damn. I swear to God today, I would blind. If, I, I know he's 80, but I'm fucking, I have uh, fucking physical ailments and everything. Blindfold me and give him a fucking bat. I will still fight that motherfucker. I never got the chance to fucking just gouge his eyes out or punch him in the fucking face or kick him in the dick and piss on him in front of the boys. And that was, as Frank Morrell said one time about Ralph Freed, Fred Ward's son-in-law, Rooster. He said, he's the kind of guy you don't want to fight him. You want to slap him down in the floor and piss on him in front of the boys. That was Jim Hurd. Raccoon pelt. <laughs> All right. Well, Stick pictures. Look at it. it I, and it yeah. wasn't even a fucking. It wasn't even a wig. It was his real hair. 